see you. Sam! Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> done. In this chapter, we'll be installing some final touches, the seat belt, which is very important, and the final axle install to make sure everything is working properly. Starting with the seat belt, here's what you need for install. So we need the seat belts. We need four GP1365 bolts. Four GP eleven ninety two nuts, eight GP thirteen sixty four washers, seventeen millimeter wrench, and a seventeen millimeter socket and ratchet. We're also going to install the plate on the back of the roll bar, and for that we're going to need four GP twelve thirty three bolts, eight GP twelve thirty washers and four GP1227 We'll start by opening the seat belts and making sure we locate the buckle at your waist. We will focus right now on the two long pieces. You'll set it all on the seat and then slide the long pieces through the seat. You will bolt these down through the metal tab and into the hole. We will take the washers and lock nuts and attach them underneath. Ratchet them, I mean, ratchet them down. Buckle up, it's the law. Even with the goblin car. Next, we attach this plate to the roll bar. Pretty straightforward with this, but this piece is for safety and looks good too. Powerful. Now we'll take one of the seat belts, get it through the side of the seat, and it will line up with the holes here. Drop that bolt and hold it.
You'll need to balance the seatbelt and push down while attaching the nut below the chassis. Might be a two-person job. Other side too, you might be able to unbuckle it to make sure you can pull it far enough. Enough slack! That's why right, enough slack to attach it to the other side of the seatbelt. Just like that, we got the seatbelt installed. Great job, everyone. Now we need to install a final axle. Here's Devin to talk about this tricky part. Okay, so we've installed the axle, but we haven't tightened the set screws and the bearings yet. So the axle can still slide left and right. Obviously, we don't want to drive the car yet. So what we're going to do is line up the brake disc with the pads on the brake caliper. I know you can't quite see those, so we'll cheat. So I'm going to line that up between the pads by bumping the axle back and forth, and then I'll tighten down the set screws. Now that I like where the axle is, the set screws that are here, I'll use the Allen key that came with the bearings. I'll tighten those down. Same thing on the other side. <laughs> Goes nice and tight. Now that I've got that done, so while we're here, we can go ahead and get the spare belt taken care of. So this is our spare belt. The reason we put both belts on before was because if we break this one, we would have to take the whole axle off to put the spare one on. So all I'm gonna do is take this belt, and tuck it in right here, Right there, take a zip tie, and zip tie the belt right there. It's out of the way. Sometimes you can put two zip ties on if you want it. Now we're going to align this pulley to the motor. What I'm going to do is I'm looking at this pulley. You can see the pulley on the motor. You see that there? All right, so I'm going to align this over until it matches up. Okay, so you can see how they're lined up. So now we'll set this back down nice and gently. I'm gonna take my five millimeter Allen key and tighten the two rub screws. Can you see those? So I'll tighten both of those. 
So I'm going to tighten these in. Careful not to shift the pulley. You'll have to go one and then the other back and forth. And this is a step that the teacher will probably have to do because you have to get these really, really tight. Wow, you should get your instructor to help tighten that. It looks tough. The last thing we'll do Keep that puppy Put the on. belt around here, and since the belt is on the pulley on the motor already, rotate it right there. Now the belt's on. All we have left is a brake adjustment, brake handle, belt handle, and fire inflation. <laughs> and tire inflation. So close to...